It's PeteCustis.com. Just wanted to share a little bit of information. Um, a lot of times I've been asked this by clients, so I should say it doesn't come over up too much, but I just wanted to share this with everybody. It has to do with banks and bank rates. Of course, I've always told people, banks are not your friends. <laughs> They're a business. They're in business to make money. And that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, the people at the bank you know. Of course, they can be very nice people, but the owners of the banks, <laughs> it's a business. They're not looking at anything they're doing for you is being helpful. It's a financial decision where they're making a determination of how much profit they can make off of you. That's solely their job and protecting their self is their key. Um, you know, so a lot of times when things are done, it's not really for your sake, it's for their sake. If they think there's an issue, that's why these things are being brought up. But one of the issues that I've come to time to time would be the fact that when people are trying to purchase, they get approved for a certain amount and they wanna make adjustments to their loan to try to save money. And then, and then they say, well, why is this changing? And one of the things is the interest rate. Now, this has nothing to do with the website I'm on or the bank. This is pretty much, that's why I'm not mentioning their names, pretty much the same with every bank. So we're looking at if you have an FHA loan currently, it's 3.374. Keep in mind the purchase price. FHA is typically 3.5%, which would be a standard type of loan. We're going to go with 30 year, which is a standard type of term. The main reason I'm doing this is to show you how this works. Now, let's just assume you said, well, I want to put more money down because I want to try to lower my payment or eliminate the private mortgage insurance. What private mortgage insurance is it, when you put the minimal 3.5% down, the, they basically have an insurance that is kind of like it was explained to me as like gap insurance when you buy a car. That means when you have some type of difficulty and you're not able to pay your loan or you get foreclosed, it's supposed to cover the loss for, for the uh, loan to the value. Um, so private mortgage ins insurance is supposed to be something very similar to that. So as you can see here, now that you wanna put more down to try to eliminate the private mortgage insurance, will change us to 5%. Keep in mind, this is 3.374. It changes to five. Then your interest rate goes up. So for a lot of people, they say, what happened? I was trying to save money and now the payment's really not that much different because the lender has all of a sudden decided they're gonna increase the interest rate. Didn't I make this better for me? A lot of times it's not necessarily that much better because the banks are in business to make money, like I said, and you put a little bit more down and they say, well, you know, now we want to increase our profit. So they increase the interest rate. Like I said, it has nothing to do with this lender. This is pretty much universal. Now, if you change it to 10%, of course, the interest rate's the same. Now you go to 20%. And there you go. So while you're trying to save money, the bank doesn't really look at that, look at it that way. Um, and a long time ago, they changed the rules. A lot of times what I would give people as far as advice is you stick with the 3.5%. <clears throat> you get the lower interest rate. And then right after you close on the loan, your first payment you put down say an extra $15,000, then you call the lender and say, hey, I have you know, more than X amount equity, remove the private mortgage insurance. Technically under the rules they have, what they would do in, the, in that case, when you have more than 20% equities, they would automatically remove the private mortgage insurance because people were doing this. <laughs> The bank now has a position where what they do is they have in their regulations, the private mortgage insurance stays for a certain amount of years. I believe currently now it's seven. So if you try to do that same thing, the advice I used to give clients years ago, you cannot eliminate that private mortgage insurance. 
Uh, also, I was told with some grant programs, if you get the grant program, let's just say you get the lower interest rate, we would have people refinance right after that to get um, a better term. And you cannot refinance under some grant program. So you got to look at everything that the bank's doing and look at all the regulations, whether you get a grant, first time home buyers grant, um, or, or whether you do have to pay private mortgage insurance for seven years just to get that lower rate. So keep in mind, like I mentioned, it doesn't always uh, make sense if you ask me because that's what the bank does. <laughs> but um, I'm just explaining the bank's in business to make money. <laughs> so as you can see, the banks really aren't your friend. They're in business to make money. And when they look at the type of loan you're getting, the incentives they have like private mortgage insurance and the term, that's how they determine their profitability, and that's how they have an approved interest rate for you. Wish I had better news, but that's the reality. This is Pete with PeteGustis.com. If you need help buying in Southeast Pennsylvania, it's 610-209-9219. That's 610-209-9219. And we have six offices in the Southeast region. Bucks, Chester, Delaware County, Montgomery, and Berks. So we service all over southeastern Pennsylvania. All right. I look forward to helping you soon. Have a great day.